Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, Cisneros at your service. Today I'll be reading the November 11th Daily Inspirational Message, the condensed version. It's two paragraphs long. Then I'll center myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments from the message, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. If you find the message of use, please be so kind as to like, comment, or share, and maybe even subscribe. Thank you for that. Here we go. Okay, the title, Compassion for Those in Emotional Pain. Paragraph 1. You will know those who are in emotional pain, those you are here to serve, by what they offer you. They will come to you carrying judgment, anger, resentment, and hate. They will come to you confused, lost, and in fear. They will come to you offering all that the ego's delusional world has sold to them as being their truth. They will come to you in, in this manner as a call for help and healing. Today, do not listen to the ego's demands for condemnation. Instead, use such interactions to practice reflecting and thus reinforcing your loving nature. Remember that in their own ways, the people around you who are in an emotional pain are asking for your compassion, for your light, peace, and understanding. Recall that as love's creations, only the love in both of you is true. Because God is love and all, none of the ego's fear-based tools are real or true. Paragraph 2. Today, if people attack you through their judgments, anger, fear, resentment, and hate, recall that they are simply asking for help and healing. You can feel honored that God has entrusted you with his children's healing. Out of the close to 8 billion people on this planet, God has chosen you to help his children heal. During the storm, stand solid and strong in your loving foundation. Through your compassion, become a beacon of light that those that the lost can use to find their way back home. Remember that no one's delusional dreams can disrupt or disturb the truth in you. You are safe and secure under God's care and protection in union with the divine. You do not need to defend yourself against false concepts because no one's truth could ever do anything other than to love you. Okay, compassion for those in emotional pain. Okay. I'm going to make four points today that I want you to repeat to yourself over and over again throughout the day. They're four very simple points, but it's a way to look at the world in a, in a different way, in a lighter way, in a more loving way, in a more productive way. And it's okay. Point number one. Anybody who's in an emotional pain, we're going we're gonna to define that today as anyone who's judging self or others, anyone who's angry, resentful, hateful, hopeless, anxious, afraid, okay? Because you see, let's simplify things. God is love and all, right? So anything in an opposition to that love is a delusion, of the ego's mindset and they all produce the same thing they all produce pain and so no matter what the story is it might be a sad story a hopeless story an anxious story an angry story they're all not true and so we're not gonna get uh, we're not gonna go into the little details of the ego's fantasies okay we're not gonna value say that resentment is less than hate or or their fear is somehow uh, easier to manage than their, than their, than their um, hopelessness. We're not going to get into that whole combination of things. We're just going to see those things that seem to be apart from love as pain. And so emotional pain. And so we're not, and so by not getting into the details, we're not going to put our time, focus, and energy into making the the fairy tale seem real. We're just gonna see that as emotional pain. Okay, these people are in emotional pain. 
that's part, that's number one of four. Okay, then, uh, then we're gonna very simply see all those uh, uh, symptoms of emotional pain uh, as a call for help and healing, as a call for love. Because if there's only really love, right? Because God is love and all. And so we can only love or call for love. And so when they're in emotional pain, what they're doing is calling out for love. In reality, they're just calling out for love. And so we're not gonna see a person who's involved with hate as hateful. No, we're just gonna see them as calling out for love. Just to simplify things. We're not gonna be. We're not gonna see somebody who's afraid or anxious as uh, you know, as anything other than that being a call for love. And so, what's the appropriate response to a call for love? It's love. And yes, we can pl play around in its expressions of love, such as when uh, they're stuck in anger. We can offer them a, a light by showing them the the way to forgiveness, or when they're feeling hopeless, we can show them a light by being that ray of hope, or if they're fe fearful and afraid, we can show them the light, the love that we are, the love that they are, by reminding them that if, the more they trust God, the less fear and anxiousness they will have. But uh, let's just simplify everything. <laughs> emotional pain, we see them all, all this emotional pain as a call for love. Okay, point number three, we're always gonna thank them no matter the, what the story is, and it could be a dozen, <laughs> three dozen stories, we're always gonna thank them for bringing the situation into our presence because what are they truly offering us? They're offering us an opportunity to recall that we are the love that God created us to be and nothing else. We're not that story. We're not part of that, that story. We're not invested in that story in those fantasies, in those fairy tales, in those delusions and deceptions and lies. No, we're not. <laughs> and so, but we know that all this is just giving us an opportunity to practice remembering that we're not that, we're this. We're not the delusion, we're the truth. We are the love that God is, and that's what we're here to do. As the light of the world, to offer our brothers and sisters a way to to finding that love within them. And so we thank them. Hey, thank you for bringing, you don't have to say it, you don't have to say it verbally, but you know, in your mind you can say, well, thank you for bringing this situation into my experience right now. Thank you for being hateful, resentful, or judgmental, uh, because all you're doing is helping me see, I don't want that anymore. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna use that to remember that this is what I want. I want to be in alignment with the mind of God. I want to be the energetic expression of the love that God is. I want to offer this world only the light that I was created to be. And so thank you for helping me practice because the more you help me practice realizing I don't want the story, I want the truth. The more natural being in your truth will become. And the easier it will be for you to release the stories not to get sucked into those stories. Simply see, okay, you bring judgmental, that's fine. I'll be forgiveness and I'll show you a way, another way that you can choose to be or not. I'm not, don't be attached to it. Just be who you truly are and offer that. That was point number three. And then point number four is, you know what? How often have you judged yourself? How much time have you spent in judgment of self? Now, all we're gonna do is feel honored. Because out of eight billion people on the planet, God has sent his children to us to help them find their way back home to that loving nature. God said, wow, my child is lost. Let him, let him send I'm gonna send him to person X or Y. I'm gonna send him to James. I'm gonna send him to whatever your name is. <laughs> so that you can show them a way to 
that light in them another way, a more productive path to peace, a release from that pain. They don't have to carry that pain with them anymore. They can choose another way, another path. And you are there to light the way. Hey, <laughs> come this way. There might be something here that, that you might find interesting. <laughs> and so, you know, pat yourself on the back a little bit. And any, you know, like any, any situation where the ego says, oh my God, this is a terrible situation. This person is judging you or hating you or feeling uh, paranoid or whatever. And, and you're there for some reason. Pat yourself on the back for being there because you're there to show them the way. You're a way shower today. And so, wow, God trusts me enough with his child, his lost child. He, he, he has me meet his lost child to help him find his way back home. Anytime you're offered that opportunity, you should be honored. Be honored that somebody if somebody's in distress around you. Because you're there to, to be that solid foundation, to remind them that there's another way to see this. And so let's try those four very simple points over and over and over again. All the stories are just the emotional pain. And then all that emotional pain is really just a call for help and healing then you're going to thank them for bringing that situation and experience into your presence, into your, into your experience, so that you can practice um, reinforcing your loving nature and then feel honored that you're able to assist in any small way. So in any conflict, any confusion, any of the ego stories, let's do those four things today, over and over and over again, until they, they, they become a natural response to us. And when we do so, we become the light of the world that God created us to be. And each and every moment, we bring the light into the darkness. And that's what we're here to do in your own unique way. All right. Thank you so much for spending, spending a little time with me today. Uh, I love you very much. If you can be so kind as to like, comment, or share, it would help with the listening process. And it might help somebody who's in emotional pain uh, find a little more peace today. Again, if you made it this far, um, love you very much, and God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.